Hello and welcome back to Elden Ring. We are still hiding in the bushes after fighting our way through Carrier Manor. And now we have to fight Royal Knight Loretta. I can't see him. What's he doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. I saw I saw that one before. That one hits like a mother trucker, I guess. Ooh, I thought I was out of range. Okay, I wasn't. Got him! Loretta's Great Bow, Ash of War, Loretta Slash. Royal Knight Loretta. Okay. Let's actually check those out. Uh, Loretta's Great Bow creates a magic great bow and fires a great arrow. Charging enhances potency. Hold to keep the great arrow not. It is said that the bow was Loretta's favorite weapon. Um, Loretta's Slash. Skill of Loretta the Royal Knight. Leap forward, imbuing the blade with glintstone, then descend, accelerating into a sweeping slash. Okay. That was good. I can't talk to anyone. Now I'm trying to always look if we can talk to... Uh, what's her name? Melania? Melania? Something like that. The treasure chest? What? We like hmm. this looks suspicious. It's not. Like Okay, this is this is it. Oh there there is a path. Ooh. Three sisters. The dragon. I did see a dragon. Uh... Get on our horse. Renna's Rise. Renna, was that the name of the, the blue witch lady we met once and haven't heard of in ages? Chilling mist.
we have to fight this dragon now? Like we do. Let's try it. Okay, we do good damage. He does good damage. Where is he? What? Oh, he's back up there. Why did he do that? Whoa. I don't see him. He's again gone. What? Is he teleporting? Like, I was doing pretty good damage against him. I fell. Maybe he'll come back. You're no... Rani? Maybe it was Rani? See, they are all... They all sound so similar, the names. I feel like I had that dragon in the back. No. I will not rest, just in case I have to fight the dragon again, and we had him, like, 50% down. In good damage. Maybe I can see the dragon from up here. I think he's gone. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, there she is. Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when yeah. last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. So she is of house. No reason carrier. in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? Sounds very sinister, but I sure. I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Can you tell good. me where the dragon is? Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior oh. by the name of Blythe. I would have Blythe. thee join okay. him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to so greet thee called Blythe, my blade. Take from him the particulars. Ah, 
and there wilt thou find E.G. My we met him as well. And Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. Don't also. know that one. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Okay. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It well, hath been a now? passing long time since a newcomer entered my service, after all. Speak with the three who await thee below. Okay. Thou needst not... Can you tell me what the dragon is? For no particular reason. So maybe they are downstairs now. I don't have to find them. So we talked to Blave. He's the uh, werewolf guy that we found last time. And we also talked to E.G. He, uh, he's the big... Yeah, like the, the giant smith. Hey. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has they're explained... Basi they're you. basically calling in. They're like then on a Zoom. Magic Zoom. The Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. Okay. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for I one, either. should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us give all that we can okay. together. Together, yeah, Lady Rani. Hey, so we joined a cult. Awesome. That's Blaith. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. Blythe. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, he looks in awesome. Business, I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. Okay. I'm going below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? We did see I'm the well, I think. The... See if I can't find... Don't keep me waiting. Those are, I think, the elevators that lead below. I see. You must be Rani's new haven't met hiring. that guy. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Salavis. Preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished. Okay. Like me, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. You're lovely. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside. Come and pay me. Should you? Hey, he's he's maybe in the other tower that was locked off. Still would like to fight. But. Not leave? Or maybe maybe I have to talk to Rani again. Life. He looks awesome. Um and I think I know where he's going. Uh let me actually look here. I think that was like yeah, here. At the minor earth tree, we saw that well. 
And I wonder now that the giant, uh, I don't know, like the giant skull creature statue that we, or it wasn't even a statue that we found on the ground where we fought the dragonkin uh, warrior uh, guy. I wonder if that has to do with this quest. Nokron, like death and all. Ah, uh, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber. And it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. Well, that, that is a doll. I look forward to the good news when I arise. Hmm? I shall soon enter my slumber. And it will be some time before I wake. I have high... I look forward... Okay. Going to cult. Love it. Well, let's check out the other tower. I think it actually uh, said Rani's tower. So. Very peculiar. The dogs are still dead, meaning if we see the dragon, he should be still at half health. He just fled. Oh, we'll we'll get him at some point. Look shut for now. What other tower are you talking about, you goof? <laughs> Rani's rise, but for now. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's anything else here. I don't think so. I mean, this might be another tower. I think that is part of the manor below, right? Or actually, no, it might not. Uh, so how do I get there? That seems to be open. I don't like the guy, but let's see what he has to say. Salovis rise. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh. You provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Sure. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Salvis Potion. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. Where would I find her? I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Valley, I don't think we heard that name before, I have no time so. for idle chit-chat. Okay. I'll see what's upstairs. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, a memory stone. Awesome. So, first let's look at that potion. Perfume. Container required for crafting perfume item. Oh. Didn't even notice that. Sell this potion. Find the valley and sure she drinks it. Okay. Can we craft anything new? Really, it seems. Okay. Um, we do... Wait. Oh, memory stone, not charm stone. Still good, still good. Take the memory stone. So I don't know where Nefali is. Um, but we might know where... Blaith went. Life. That's how you pronounce it. So let's let's actually go there. Since the dragon apparently just poofed away. That that was weird. I don't know what happened there. Poof the magic dragon. Towards the Urtree we go. That is where we should find life again. A very interesting way to spell life, by the way. But I won't complain when, when you look as awesome as he does. Okay. Is he off a river well? That is, he was talking about the well. Is he outside somewhere? I don't see him. So, let's just see where this leads. Last time we got into a whole underground civilization. But we also fought a bunch of ants and other pleasant enemies. However, not as unpleasant as giant hands attacking. Whoa. Okay. Is that a bush or is that Blythe there? I don't think it was Blythe. It's Yofra River. assumed he would be there. I don't like the sound. Gives me out. Now I wonder if I should have talked to him in the ruins first again. Before going down here. You kissed Urba. He's fighting something. Yeah, it's these guys. And I'm done. Probably the smartest approach here, gotta be honest.
Yeah, maybe I should have talked to him. Uh, I don't think I can fast travel out of here, right? Can I? I cannot. Only to Ainsel River, okay. Could actually get our horse down here. Fly. Okay. Take the ingredients. Um, okay. Let's get our buddies in here. I just kind of Gironi moded last time, just running in here. Right, they completely ignore my attacks. Oh. Buddies really help here. Let's get all all our runes back. Smithing stone. These two Godric soldiers, they're really good. Smithing stone four. Uh okay, this is some Ooh, golden centipede. I don't know what that does, but it looks special. That looked like a place where we need to drop down to get to that item on top. We'll probably do that. Oops, we can. Casting. I don't like that. They're so slow, but kind of dangerous because they, you can't stun them at all. Other one, a little bit with heavy attacks. Another. Oh boy. Stop casting, please. One buddy gone. He turned sludge. Playman's harpoon. Okay. Playman's harpoon. Let's look at it. Harpoon with a tip made from a sharpened meteorite shard, wielded by the clayman who infests dynastic remains. The blade emits a faint light and deals magic damage. Rainbow stones, okay. So many materials.
Like, you really gotta be patient with these dudes. Oh, he pulled me. One at a time. I burned through so many flash fire in these. Oh, it got... Also the pull is just... These give me so much trouble despite them being so slow. Was it at least worth it? Oh, I guess you can run... Okay, so you can go this path. Fair enough. I really wonder if we should have talked to Life Born. One room Smithing Stone Four Bunch of Silver Butterflies. You kissed Urba. The Golden Room Four. Maybe it's if, like, we don't see Bl uh, Blythe till the next side of Grace, I might quickly go back up. Check if I can talk to him in, in Mistwood. Then see uh, if that continues anything. Any crabs here? Brown crab! Did I kill it? Okay, it. 
I was like, if that one isn't dead, then I'm definitely toast. Toast ring. Now, hmm, just got reminded that there was this one spot where to jump down on that statue, or at least it looked like it. Wonder how to get there, but. Okay, here's a side of grace. Okay. Hmm. Let's go back to this one. Let's check in with life in the mistwood and see if anything changes. Should have done that before I went down. Also, that may give me a look how to get up there, but it might just might just get there from a entirely different place from the other side. It looks like, right? Hard to tell. Such a long elevator run. Okay, um, there's a big bear. Two runes. He's still howling, or there's a big bear. He doesn't seem to be here either. Oh no, when if anything, he was outside there, All right? Uh, what about it? No, he's not here. So, now, let's see if something changed here, since that uh, triggered me going back to one of those things in the first place. Hmm. Doesn't, doesn't seem that way. Pretty much the same. Go on now, this old git. Oh. Well, I haven't heard that name in an age. Oh, he knows Ichi. Then you must serve Princess Rani. The next time you speak to Ichi, tell him this. The festival of Radan will surely set Rani's fate back into motion. By the by, is that old fool still hammering out weapons? His enormous frame cramped in that little place. Bit of a haughty sort. Strange fella when I knew him. And funny thing, his swords were all blunt as stone. But not one of them decayed when faced with a scarlet rot. Oh, interesting. Go on now, this old gi- Okay, so we've got some extra... Dialogue. Let's go back to... E.G. then. And tell him that. 
So maybe maybe Blythe is further down. Could very well be. I was just about to say, is he not here? Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? Okay, about Blythe. Blythe is Blythe. Lady Rani's stepbrother. Oh. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. Mm. But none of us will ever forget our earliest days together. Promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, okay. now he has you. I can't find him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella. Well, it has a twin known as Nokron, the other eternal city. Yeah, After we heard of Noxtella. That was like the dragon. We've determined the location of Noxtella. of Noxtella by going underground through the well in the mistwood of Limgrave. You can see Nokron up above. Only. We failed to find a path leading to the city. Blythe's made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped. To be honest, I'm not sure where to go from here. Okay. Jaren. Now that's a name that's I haven't heard for a while. That's the old man we just talked to. Before taking up the banner of General Radan, he was a guest of the Karian royal family. An expert swordsman, to be sure. But ever the eccentric. Seems no eccentric. he'd get wrapped up in some festival. Oh no. Wait, how did I not see it before? I ought to retire as war counselor for such a gross oversight. Let me explain. The fate of the Karian royal family is guided by the stars, as is the fate of Lady Rani first heir in the Karian royal line. But General Radan is the conqueror of the stars, who okay. stood up to the swirling constellations, halting their movement in a smashing victory. And so, if General Radan were defeated, the stars would once again resume their movement, as would Lady Rani's destiny. Perhaps even revealing the elusive path oh. that leads to Nokron. But didn't Radan die? Go with Blythe to the festival grounds. Should General Radan be defeated, the stars Maybe will once something again up. resume their movement, perhaps revealing the elusive path to Nokron. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Lower FP consumed by skills, Carrion Pilgrim Crest, an honor said to have once been awarded to Carrion Knights who served as direct retainers to the kingdom's princesses. Now there is only one princess, Rani, daughter of Renala. Okay, now, um, that is interesting. So, I, I thought Radan was dead, but I guess not. Uh, we can level up one more time, and I think... Hmm. I think we'll go into strength this time. We'll get strength and vigor to 25. Uh, we do have a couple of thousand of runes. A small one here. But maybe like buying some of the limited items over here might make sense. Ah, uh, yeah, can at least buy one summoning smithing stone three for that. Um, okay, maybe now return to the, the big old fast travelorama, but. I feel like we're getting closer to where we want to go because now it seems like he was pretty much saying 
defeat Radan at the festival or whatever, and that will then continue our path down below in the well. Whereas, like, there at some point, probably there would be a dead end of sorts. Oh! There he is! Oh, and is that Alexander? Oh, there's another one. Okay! We have different people here. Okay. Hmm. Thought I might find you here. I must admit, I was a little worried. We missed our meeting. But it looks like you're still in one piece, eh? You must have heard by now, right? That Star Scourge Radan holds Rani's fate in stasis. But once he's out of the way, Seems like it. it'll spring back into motion. So now, we stand against the demigod once known as the strongest of them all. Okay. The way ahead is pleasingly simple. We fight, sword, and fang. Into the fray together, eh? Oh. <laughs> so are we... what you're made of. Oh, is that maybe all of the people that I talk to will help me in this fight? Like, Blythe, and this seems to be, what's her name? Um, lady who lost her arm, but has her arm back now, I think. Light bow, or no, that's something. Someone else. I don't know who that is. I thought that was uh, what was it, Missilla or something like that. Champions, welcome. The stars of aligned. The oh, there he festival is. is nigh. General Radan, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general, claim glory, and grab that great rune. A celebration of war. The Radan Festival! The Radon Festival. Uh, okay, let's talk to... I think that's Alexander. Ah, you came. How delightful. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, he held it out. It is none other than General Radon himself. To think. I could face a great champion of the Shattering. A demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I quiver at the thought. Such is his frightful repute. But the fear simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this ordeal. Now, I am a little bit afraid if I... If they join me in the fight and not through summons, if they die in the fight, are they gone forever? Be sure to get a good vantage, my I, I. Okay, so I can't talk to her. I'm a little bit worried that we might trigger a cutscene, so I think we will end the episode here on a little bit of a cliffhanger, and then maybe next time we. Looks like we're, we might fight General Radan. The festival of Radan seems to be ahead of us. Thank you all for joining uh, me for today's episode of Elden Ring. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Share the video with friends, family, and the people on the internet. It all helps me out a whole bunch and will bring you more content in the future. I will be back with more Elden Ring very soon. Until then... Have a great time.